Aha, yes, marvellous intro. Let's do this. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So we've got pretty much a update for you guys, just kind of more or less looking at this idea around taking profits, where's kind of the best place to do your trades and, and, and stuff like that, and where you can really make the most bank for your buck. Now, before we get into this video, I want to introduce this official episode sponsor, and it's coming straight from the region of the anti-clickbait Helm Group. And they're selling these for a very, very reasonable price. So if you guys are interested in this and um, it's something that you would like to get involved in, do leave us a comment in the comment section about the Helms and um, we'll uh, provide you with some nice, you know, extra things that will come included with the package, including your own clickbait tree that you can grow in your garden. So without further ado, let's move on to the flow chart. And the flow chart is specifically targeting main holdings and side holdings. Now, uh, this is not, none of this is financial advice. None of this is investing advice. This is me simply showing you how I'm treating the system currently. Let's say, for example, the coins in question are Luna Classic. Now, I've got my main holdings and these are my key investment, okay? This is around 80% mm, of my overall bag of Luna Classic. Now, I will leave this exactly where I need it to be whilst I'm hodling, i.e. for me, that's Terra Station. Okay, the coin pumps, I do nothing, okay? It does a correction and stuff like that, I do nothing. Okay, I have a plan and I have an exit plan and we'll go over exit strategies in another video. But for now, let's keep it simple and let's discuss side holdings. Now, side holdings should be treated as a, an investment to learn and play with, okay? It should remain on a CEX. The CEX that I use best for this is Binance because of the simple fact I can make trades for zero fees nearly all of the time. It, it's brilliant. Uh, Binance really do have this edge over everybody else. I'm shocked that people do make trades on crypto.com and places like that so when the coin pumps okay for example you've got your little 20 percent of your lunar classic uh, the price pumps up by 200 percent. what do you do trade that position into a stable coin wait for a correction this is exactly what i do then i choose an entry level and then i just rinse and repeat that process over and over again and the thing is right these kind of things actually help the volume they give a reason for volume to exist. It creates things, it makes stuff happen. We all know, pretty much say if you doubled the amount of holders in theory, you should double the price of a coin. Um, CeFi was speaking about this in um, a Twitter space ages ago and then he spoke about it again last night and it really did jog my memory because it's, it's, it's kind of simple. It kind of works like the whole market cap thing. Taking profits like this is a good thing and you can earn some i started doing this with 10 pounds 10 british pounds and now my investment is at like 20 pounds at uh, 20 pounds <laughs> 200 pounds i think it's just above that now teeter totters um as obviously currently i've got a buy and entry position uh with luna classic on my kind of 20 percent kind of like a side hustle side holdings however you want to really say it this is just kind of what i do and how I'm treating the system. And this way, when we're going through these huge correction phases, dumps, whatever you want to call them, they're really just not that bad because I've still got a side bag to hustle and play around with um, and get involved with different stuff. And this all comes down to also diversifying your holdings. We're gonna get into that in, a, in its own video of its own, specifically looking at you know different coins that are possibly have good futures because Luna Classic's not the only one involved in the future of crypto. There's many coins out there for us to look at. Now, USTC in itself is an, an awesome example uh, on the system right now currently of how you can arbitrage. And I've explained this many times. It's pretty simple. When you withdraw your rewards, don't just sell your UST for the sake of it. Wait until you see a price movement upwards, okay? So, you know, hold it throughout all of this period. Oh, nice move upwards. That looks good enough for me. I'm not going to be greedy and I'm going to take that for what it is. I'm going to wait for the correction and, you know, rinse and repeat. You can literally do this on Terra Station and it's just a very simple form of arbitrage. Now, I've taken a screenshot from, because we all got airdropped Luna. So obviously I have Luna staked uh, with Lunk down on the main net. Now, We've all spoken about this on-off ramp, the ability to buy and sell Luna Classic 
on the actual platform itself. Now, this is something that's already actually on the mainnet, and I'm quite shocked that we can't actually utilize the same route that they've utilized to buy Luna Classic on the Terra Station itself. Now, when you click this, it gives you Binance. Um, let me just double check this on my phone before I commit to any words. So you've got Binance, Huobi and KuCoin. Tap on one of them and it takes you directly to the app and lets you buy it. And I think that's a good idea, even with it just taking you there. It's not buying it so much on Terra Station, but it gives the available option for people to top up you know, through that and possibly when you buy it like that, maybe it automatically sends it. I'm going to test it later myself, but I thought it was just good for us to know that they have utilized the system like this over at Luna and we should definitely think about utilizing it too. Now, just before anyone gets any crazy, you know, oh my God, it's a picture of Happy Gay. Um, this is not me. It's just a man in a tinfoil hat and that was just silly. So, but that's how I kind of feel with like clickbait, right? It's just all kind of silly. So, you know, I watch too many podcasts, but getting back to this, it's okay to take profits, okay? It makes things less stressful. You either understand the system and you use it to your advantage or you get angry with the system, don't learn and just keep going through that same cycle of buying high, selling low, buying high, selling low. And in effect, it's it's called chasing green. I always say this to people, do not chase green candles. If something's running, you didn't catch the entry quick enough. And, you know, it's always, you know, it could pay off. You could, you know, catch it whilst it's running like a falling knife. But at the same time, you're running a huge risk. And when you can better start to understand the market and how it's moving, then you can better start to understand the system in itself. And Bitcoin's been categorical Categorically moving upwards um, for you know a while now. So hopefully, what you'd like to see is Bitcoin obviously make a huge move upwards, start dragging the market upwards, start bringing sentiment back into crypto. The issue being, I think, with the correlation with the stock markets is that people pay too much attention to the Fed rates and stuff like that. And I know it does have an effect in real life on things, but. At the same time, like there's always opportunities in crypto to make money. Like it baffles me that only 12% of the people that hold Luna Classic are actually staking. You know, that's that's insane. We should at least be at 20%. Um, the ratio for uh, the mainnet, I don't think I've actually checked this before. Let me check the ratio. They've got a 51.73% uh, staked ratio. And I know they've got coins that are, you know, bonded and stuff like that, but you know, that's a, a damn sight more than we are. And I feel like, you know, it, well, it's not like I feel it is down to validate is to educate new delegates as to why they should delegate coins, why, why they should, if they're holding for the long run, consider staking your coins, because what you're making is in, it's incredible. So if I go to my switch over, because I'm on my phone when I'm doing stuff like this, I need to get it all set up on the computer correctly, but it's, you know, it's a bit funny. Okay, so the reward so far for four days for 18 million delegated is 68k Luna Classic at a 5% commission rate. And um, that's really good. Happy, stop chirping at the birds. <laughs> and um, I'm going to pretty much leave it on that. No, I felt like this video was well needed. I do use Binance for a lot of my trades to just do things back and forth and stuff like that. And um, I'll try get some oil for the chair. And, you know... Guys, it doesn't have to be super serious all the time, you know. You can have fun whilst you're investing. It doesn't need to get you down. And, you know, it's always crucial to not invest what you're not willing to lose. This is one big you know, gamble at the horses. I keep saying this to people. You're betting on a horse which you've done research on. You understand what it's been eaten, where it was raised, what its, you know, parents were fed on if they're purebred Arabians and all that kind of stuff. You will go off of what you know. Don't go off of what you don't know and don't do stuff emo on, on emotional backing because it never really ends well. And don't chase green. Stay safe. Tim Foil hats in the comment section, guys. And um, we'll just catch you in the next one. Just stay safe. I'm not a financial advisor. Sure.